Good afternoon, I am St. Germain. I am so glad to be here, and this is a healing circle, and I wanted to bring some truth and understanding to your circle today, and know that you can do your own healing, because as it says in the Bible, physician, heal thyself, and I wanted to clarify that for you a bit today. You see, it is all your own power that does the healing. But so many people look to others as healers. What the healer is really doing is reflecting back your own power to you. But when you come for healing, you have made yourself receptive to receive. And you are receiving your own power and health, but you have not been doing it otherwise because you seem to feel you need permission or some other means of accepting it or rejecting it. So... I wanted to explain better today that letting down your walls and receiving love is probably the most fearful experience of your whole existence. It's easier to, re to release um, angers which do cover up the fears. It's easier to release your jealousy or your guilt or shame. But when it comes to actually letting those walls down so you are re ready to receive the love that is within. That has been conditioned into you to think that love is going to hurt. And love, of course, does not hurt. You are actually lowering your walls and releasing all the barriers to that love so you can feel good. That's the presence of God. Now, if you are still ho holding on to old negativity in your energy, it can't move into the light of God. The darkness, the fear, creates a blanket and stops the love from being able to actually um, be emerged into your beingness. So it's very helpful to come to a healing circle. You have given your permission to have that energy and to receive it back into your system so you can heal yourself. As the lady that touched Jesus' ham was healed and he said, your faith was the healing. And that's what you're doing in here today is you've touched that hem of God and said, I choose to feel that and be healed. You have given yourself permission to lower the walls of resistance or fear or feeling that it'll be a painful, difficult situation if you let the love in. You see, being in the presence of God is love. That is what love is. But the trick of the whole thing is to have the emotion of love actually join in your beingness. And that's what so many people are afraid is to actually feel good or feel love. Healing is getting in touch with the actual emotion and allowing it to happen. And you see, so many people have been shut down from feelings. It's not safe to feel and that stops your healing. The more you feel whatever you're feeling, you send love to it, the more fe healing you will have because all those feelings represent every energy in your system that has to be loved back into the oneness of who you are. Your w souls have had woundedness of various kinds in this room. Everyone has their own path to heal. And every time you send love to that particular part that comes up that might even be painful, that send love to it so it can heal. You are healing your woundedness. And so instead of running from it in addictions, instead of running from it in all kinds of workaholic, overachieving various ways not to feel the feelings, I'm suggesting you embrace everyone because everyone is part of your energy that needs to flow through you and be healed. And as you embrace those, they will change to loving emotions. Emotions is energy in motion. And if that energy isn't in motion, you can't heal. So the motions have to go through your body. It's called circulation. When your body is circulating appropriately, those motions are flowing through you and actually out. Marilyn has a flower essence that even uh, helps to um, 
embrace this to let those negative feelings flow out and flow beyond so the new good feelings can come in. And when you're feeling good, you're feeling God. And let that tingling or whatever feeling that brings that God presence into your life, just enjoy it and savor it and celebrate it. And the more you do that in your meditations, the more health you will find because you're letting those loving emotions actually do the healing. And it's your faith. You're allowing it to happen and to heal whatever is needing to be healed so more and more of the presence of God can actually manifest in your experience and experience is an energy so if you're sitting on the fence because you're afraid to get off the fence you might do something wrong you might pick the wrong choice there is no right and wrong every feeling that pops in just send loving energy to respond in a caring way so that part of your soul can actually come back into the wholeness of who you are. Love is the glue that brings all the shattered pieces of your soul back together. Marilyn has a necklace at home that has a heart on it and inside the heart are lots of little pieces of crystal that could be called diamonds and putting them, gluing them all together it looks like a mortar and she knows that she has been loving all those pieces that were shattered off, all those bits and pieces, back to wholeness. And it's, in the, her case, the shape of a heart that she wears. You are all loving your bits and pieces back together. The more you accept and allow that, the better off. Because in the presence of God, there is no illness. There is no sickness. There is no aging. You are always young in the spirit of God's love and energy. You do not grow old. You just grow youthful. You see this energy of the presence of God is the healing force. And your planet is moved into fifth dimension, which is the Christ consciousness. And it is your job to line up with it if you choose to move on in your spiritual path and move your thinking and your old reactions of fear and not receiving that love that is flowing through you, hopefully it is flowing through you. If you are not receiving it, you will stay sick, you will stay in your dilemmas, and you will not move on until you do change that. So I'm suggesting today that if you want to be in the consciousness of the planet, to think of yourself as a Christed being, releasing your human defects and you are now thinking through the eyes of God through everything being loving perfect in his consciousness in his presence nothing is going to cause any illness or disturbance there's no problems because the love will dissipate the darkness it will be feeling wonderful in unity cooperation and joyous activities some people call this heaven on earth and when you see yourself and everything around you as perfect in the eyes of God you have joined fifth dimension and you will not grow old and the illnesses will no longer be a part of your consciousness and they will disappear so changing your consciousness to be concurrent with the con uh, the planet's energy is most important for healing and to be receptive to those feelings of good, knowing that it is a wonderful, powerful force that is restoring what you truly want. Why would you resist something you really want? That doesn't make sense to me. So many people sabotage their growing into love, and that actually makes their illness. So the more love you accept and receive, you have more to pass out. The more you give out, the more you have. So you see it's a circle and a cycle of flowing of loving energy and I suggest your walls come down and do any work you need to to release any negative energy that is blocking off that healing love. Love never fails. With that I would like to say good afternoon. I'm glad I could give this message today. I hope that there was a clearer understanding that you can heal yourself by allowing the love to flow in removing any obstacles you have created that have stopped it from coming into your system to actually be a benefit where you want to be in the first place. 
Your lovingness is going to shine and show with your health as it emerges into accepting and receiving the love of God and, of course, sharing it with others. May you have a wonderful afternoon in the sunshine. I'm so glad to have been here, and I wish you all the best, and all that is is always with you. No matter what happened in the past is the past, and it can be dispelled in the light of God. So forget the third dimension and move yourself into the light of God where all is love and all is well, and the healing will occur. I bid you goodbye. May God be with you all. Thank <laughs> you.